Hello SVM Gaming viewers, I am the Epic Gamer Guy, and welcome to the first episode of my new Skyrim Let's Play, where you guys, the viewers, control everything I do, you'll, you'll set my path for future videos, and you'll just give me my objectives, and you guys, you guys are in complete control of the series. So, before we get started, I want to cover a few minor basic things. I guess, first and foremost, this is a, a porn-free series. There's no nudity, none of that. So, just, if you've come here to watch that, I'm sorry, you are, you're in the wrong place, okay? Um, the second thing I have to say is, um, I will be using mods, and all the mods and all of any all of the information related to every single episode will be linked in the description below or will just be in the description below so i'll have all of the mods listed that i'm using in the description below finally i'm going to cover my system specs once in this introduction episode but you will normally be able to find them in the description below so let's get this done i am running windows 7 professional 64 bit on an AMD Phenom quad core 940 processor that runs at 3 gigahertz. I'm, my graphics card is an Nvidia GeForce GTX 460 and I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now for those of you who are tech geeks, there, there you go. Um, I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about that. All I know is it's enough to run Skyrim on high. I'm, I'm running my graphics settings on high because the mods I'm using take a lot of power. Um, but all that being said, I'm going to stop rambling and we are going to start a new game. And I have the vote, the results for all the votes right here next to me on my Mac. So we are set and ready to go. Let's do it. Ooh, I hear noise. Bethesda Game Studios presents. Ooh, spooky, scary. Oh. Oh, what is this place? The Elder Scrolls V. Where am I? Skyrim? I'm in Skyrim? Really? Who are you guys? Why are you so quiet? Holy cow. Are you deaf? Can you hear me? Hey, hello. I'll just be quiet until you talk then. Be that way. Hello. Hey, you. You're finally awake. I've been awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Thief? Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. Damn you too, they bitch. They been looking for you. <laughs> Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We you shouldn't me. be here. It's the storm cloaks the Empire wants. Then let's get out of here. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Yeah, you just he got told, bitch. There. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true high king. You're Ulfric no, you're not Ulfric Ulf Stormcloak, it's this bitch. Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. Yeah. They captured you. Oh gods. Where are they taking us? Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. Look at these no, graphics. This, can't be happening. this isn't happening. It is happening. Otherwise, I wouldn't hey, be here. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. That's a very wise quote. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. I know where that is. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Oh, joy. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dabella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. He just called on all of the, the religious people to help him, if you didn't know. Look at him. All the religious General people in the game. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Thalmor are with him. Damn elves. Damn elves, I bet yeah. they had something <laughs> to do with this. Okay. Anyway, I didn't mean to say religious people. I meant to say religious beliefs and stuff. Sorry. This is Helgen. Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Oh. Wonder mm. if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Huh. Funny. Sounds good. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. I bet. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We 
are awesome people, and you would love to be where we are right now. No, you can keep them out here. Nothing's gonna happen, kid. Get out of here. Why are we stopping? Why are we? We're stopping. Why do you think? End of the line. End of the line. Wow. Really? Let's go. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Oh no. No. no wait. We're not rebels. We're not. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Get the block when we call your name. One at a time. One at a time. Okay. Empire loves their damn lists. Which one of you is going to make a run for? Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl of Ulf. Can I move around? No, I can't. Rayloff of Riverwood. <laughs> I'm making myself sound like a complete noob, but I know how to play the game. I'm just joking around. Lokir of Rorik's Look here, that's your name? No, I'm not, not a, a rebel. rebel. You can't do this. Run away, quick. Quick, before they get you. Run. Quickly. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Wait. You there. Step four. <laughs> Why don't you know my name? I'm the Epic Gamer guy. I'm not just any person. Who are you? I'm the Epic Gamer guy. Duh. Anyway, this is where we get to choose our race, and this is where the first part of the vote, the voting that I did in the prelude episode kicks in. So, Kajat, or Kajit, I do not know how you pronounce that, was the winner, and it had four votes, I believe. So that is the type of race I'm going to pick. Now, because this is boring, I'm just going to time lapse or maybe completely skip this part because who really wants to sit here and watch me design my person? Okay, so I think we are finally done with our character. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not very creative when it comes to creating characters, but I really the only noticeable changes are some face paint and neck paint. Uh, maybe the lips a little bit. There's a scar there, the blue eyes, and then there's hair on them. But that's really all of the, the noticeable changes. Um, so we are done. And it's also male, by the way, because I, I don't know, I'm male. So finish and name our character, yes. And it is going to be the Epic Gamer Guy. The Epic Gamer Guy. Yep. Enter. Accept. You with one of the trade caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Thanks. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Thanks, bitch. By your orders, Captain. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're we right. Your remains are turned to elsewhere. Follow the captain. I'm gonna kick your sorry little ass. <sighs> you're lucky I can't kick your sorry little ass right now. Hmm. Okay. This All is a really nice Stormcloak. place. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You did what? You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and you now the Emperor asshole. is going to put you down and restore the peace. You son of a bitch. Oh, Nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. Ugh. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> that per one of these guys isn't in a good mood. Haven't got all morning. Haven't got all morning. Goodness. Hey, hey, buddy. Psst. My ancestors are Psst. smiling hey. at me, Imperials. Hey. Can you say the you killed the High King? What What did he do? What did he... Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> that is... That is disgusting. He just beheaded him. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Phew. Calm down. Relax. The cat. You son of a... Bitch. Do I look like a cat? Nice Did you hear that? Okay. Correction. I said next. I am more than just a cat. <laughs> Guaranteed. I'm coming. I'm coming for both of you. 
assholes. And you. I don't like the look on your face. Oh man, why do I have to have my head in the same box his his? Or his is? His is? His head is. Oh, what is it? Oh no! It's a... What? What is that thing? Oh my gosh, it's, it's a dragon. It's those dragons that I've heard so many stories about. They're really true. They are really true, oh my goodness. What's happening? Okay. This way. Where are we going? Rayloff? Raluf? Whoa. I must have a headache. Everything's all blurry. Goodness. Could the legends be true? Could the legends be true? Could they really be true? You okay? We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Okay. Let's go up here then. Let's do it. Oh my! What's happening? Oh my gosh! There's what's happening? Let's let's run. Did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did it before I was supposed to. Whoops! <laughs> Where are we going? What are we doing? Oh! Get it out of here! Huh? Oh my! Oh my! Where are we going? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Okay. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Okay. God's guide you, Admiral. Okay. Okay. Need to calm down. Need to calm down. Stay close to the wall. Stay close. Got it. I got it. You're the son of a bitch that was gonna kill me. Oh my. Oh my. Quickly, follow me. I don't know if I want to follow your dumb ass. If this is what you people do to everyone, I don't want to follow you. It's you and me, prisoner. Stay close. You and me, prisoner. Um Thanks. What's the deal with this? Raylov, you damn traitor! Out of my way! We're escaping, Hadlar. You're not stopping us this time. Yeah. yeah. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovergard. I'm going with this guy because you guys tried to kill us, you son of a bitch. With me, prisoner. Let's go. Forget your dumbass. I can cut you loose inside. Come on. Okay. So if you couldn't already tell. We are on the side of the storm cloaks. Okay, where are we? What is this place? This person's dead. We'll meet again in Solemn Guard, brother. That's a boy? That's a guy? Looks you like sure? We're the only ones who made okay. It. That thing was a dragon. Was no it? Doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. Okay. The harbingers of the end times. I was right, it was a dragon. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please do. There you go. You may as well take Ganyu's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Okay, I guess that is a guy. Or a girl. So, now as you can see, I am using the Sky UI mod, which is linked in the description below. So let's see what this person has. We'll just take all of it. Ugh, that is a guy. He's not wearing a bikini. Okay, so let's see. What can we equip? This has better armor. Gotta get this equipped. And this has much better armor. This is this is probably worth dropping, but I can sell it later. So, now the third th voting that was taking place was what kind of weapons I should use. And the category that one are one-handed weapons which means I will use one-handed weapons and either a shield or magic in my other hand I left that up to me let's see about that gate so I'm going to not press that button access my magic uh, we are going to equip the flames here in the left hand look at that 
Now, I also read that the Kajats or Kajits claws are stronger than the the first weapons you get. I don't know if that's true or not. Come on, it's the Imperials. Take cover. Take cover. Got it. Get this gate open. What's happening? Burn. Baby, burn. Who am I burning? <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. What do you have? Okay, this is like the exact same stuff, except you have a helmet, which I'll take, and your armor is better than mine, okay. Oh, and these are better too. Awesome. Now let's go to me. So what's our armor looking at? 51, not too shabby. Let's see here. What are you doing? Here we are. Found the key. Now, if you didn't know, swords are the fastest swinging weapons in the game. So we're actually going to take that and we are going to equip it like that. Let's see if it opens that door. Now forgive me, I'm still getting used to the Sky UI mod. That's it. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Okay. Let's do it. So if you couldn't already tell, I was doing a little bit of role playing earlier, and I'll probably do that at some spots throughout the game just to make it a little fun. Whoa. Holy cow, what was that? Is that that dragon? Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Oh, really? Grab everything what next? Oh, let's, let's go in here. Yeah, see, these swing much faster. Oh man, this guy seems to be loaded for bear. Holy cow, what's he packing? His oh, he has heavy armor. Hmm. I'm actually not going to specialize in heavy armor. Not in this little let's play. I'm going to specialize in light armor. What do we have? Search barrel. Oh, these potions? I'll take them all. Definitely. Let's take all these potions. Now, if you didn't know, this game is a looting game. And I'm going to take everything I can get at this stage in the game. Now, if I were paying attention, I would have noticed that that is empty. Oops. No, I'm not going to take those. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have? More potions, some salt pile. Oh, let's see. Potion of Minor Magicka, more salt piles. Uh, minor healing, we'll take some wine. I'll get drunk. Why the hell not? Take some bread. It's always good to have food so you can replenish your health. Um, those guys don't really have anything I'm interested in. I mean, unless I want to take it all and sell it, which I'm probably going to do. Take that wine. Yeah, let's, let's take their goodies and sell it. Might as well, right? Okay. So I think I've looted this pretty well. Harvest rabbit? Yeah, sure. Let's take some of this stuff. Now this game is a looting game, if you didn't know, and I am a type of person who wants to try to get everything that I can. So I think I've pretty much taken everything that I can get out of this place. What do we have up here? Anything special? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Done. Let's I'm done. Moving. Let's get out of here. That's where we came in. I'm coming. Troll's blood. It's a to Hear that? Troll's blood. Who am I supposed to be killing? This guy. Ooh. That that did not look friendly. Who is this guy? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Oh, you're on our team. Okay. I was about to kill you. Ooh, that guy has steel dagger. Okay. We will take everything we can get. Awesome. It's locked. See if Lock picks. Yep. I'll read the book. Just so we can get points or whatever we get for it. I usually read books and then I just immediately sell them. Grab anything useful and let's go. Okay, 
So, how about I sneak in here and try to grab this stuff? Oh, it's not going to let me. Sometimes you can. Okay, we'll unlock it. I know how to use lock picking, thank you. Oops, just got to tilt it a little bit. Is it this way? Nope, this way. There we go. Awesome. So we'll just take everything we can get. I'll read about it. Awesome. That's a lot of nice looking stuff. Now, if you noticed, we picked up a book. Let's see, books right here. It's called a spell tome. These are books that if you read them or use them, they give you spells and you learn spells. So if we left click or hit E, I just learned a spell. Now I can make sparks. So I can shoot um, sparks instead of, you know, fire or whatever I would like to be shooting. You know what I mean? And since there's nothing in these guys, I'm not going to unlock them. But again, I'm going to search the area and see what kind of goodies I can get. Have a nice iron mace that uh, does a little more damage, but it's not really worth it. Um, because I'd rather have faster speed. Um, I could have sworn I saw something. Take lockpick, definitely. Was that up here? Oh, it's up here. And I'll read that too. And I tend to sell books too when I pick them up. It's always good for the little bit of extra money you can get. But if you're starting to get a full inventory of stuff and you need to drop stuff, books will also be one of the first things I drop. So that's just my insight on it. So where are we going? What do we have in here? Anything in here? Let's see. Nothing in there I'm not even going to bother. I know one of these things has something good in it. And it's this one. So the the spot where the pick or the lock pick goes will change every time. As you can see, I just lost that one. This one was one of the ones where it's just straight down from right when you get it in. It changes every time. It's always good to search skeletons because you can get bones and gold or bone meal and gold, which is odd. I don't know where the pockets on a skeleton are, but yeah, apparently they have pockets now. This way, okay, buddy. Let's do it. We have nothing here. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. Oh. Waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. You gotta crouch, buddy. Get your sneaking skill. Okay, I'm detected. Forget it. You're free to die now, please. Here, take some fire. Oops, sorry, buddy. Uh, you left somebody up here, man. Right. Let's burn him to death. Awesome. Well, okay. Now it's about to the point where I gotta stop picking up a bunch of stuff. Okay. What do you have here? Uh, just an average sword. Nothing special. Oh, wait, but did he have any gold? Gold, gold, gold. Nope. Oh, always. I'm always up for taking arrows since they don't weigh anything. Die. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You just got stabbed in the back. No kidding. Let's see what we got. Iron arrows. Nothing else really suits my fancy. Now here's our first two-handed weapon, but since I'm not specializing in two-handed weapons, I will take it and sell it because they are pretty valuable, even though they are very heavy as well. Okay. Let's see. Did we get this guy? Yes, we did. Oh, I don't even have a bow. Let's take a bow. Now, if you didn't know, if you light this oil on fire, it really lights the oil on fire. <laughs> So be careful about that Over when you here. see oil laying around. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. You don't know where it goes? Look, let's use the lever. It's gonna fall down because it's so cool. And we're going to go sneaky sneaky around here and see what kind of stuff we can come across. We should have some goodies right up here. A coin purse. Can't loot that guy. Let's see what we have back here. Or maybe this is the way we're going. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, frostbite spider time. Let's be sneaky. Just act casual. 
And go for the boom. Oh yeah, you just got owned, spider. And we're going to take everything these spiders have because they don't really have a lot. Oh, hey. Eat some frostbite, I don't know. My stamina is low, I'm not worried about it, buddy. I got this. Ooh, you just got criticaled or whatever they call those little cutscenes. I like them though. That, that's one of the things that really makes the game for me. Those little scenes right there. Leave me a comment telling me what those scenes are called if you know exactly what they're called. That would be really awesome. Let's see. What's over here? <gasps> Do you see that? It's a bear. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? Yeah, I just pointed her out I'm to you. With her right now. It's tried to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you Oh wow, my carry way is getting full. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow Okay. The See how it said I'm carrying too much to be able to run? That means I need to drop something and we'll start with some of this pointless armor. Yeah, we'll just start start dropping armor as we go along. So, he wants us to attack it with a bow. Okay, I'll take some bow practice. Now, if you watch my prelude video, you'll notice, or you may have noticed, that I dislike bows with a passion. Because I suck with them. But, I will give it a try. Oh, I actually got him, wow. Really, Raylock? Stupid dumbass. Shoot you again just for that. <laughs> Be careful? Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Let's get those back, and we're actually going to put those weapons on my favorites soon. I'm not going to do it now, because I have no real interest in doing it now. Oh, autosaving. Worst time to autosave. Oh, and we have flames as our left healing. Sparks take a lot to fire, and I don't think they do a whole lot of damage, so I'm not worried about that right now. Here it is. <laughs> Duh! And we're going to take the bear's goodies. And I'm not... I'm not over my carry weight just yet, so that's that's nice. Let's go. Usually I wouldn't carry all the useless armor around and stuff, but I really don't want... Or right now, I'll take as much money as I can get. So, I'm more than happy to carry it around. That looks like the way out. I knew we'd make it. Oh, good. This is the way out. Let's do it. Super jump. Oh. Oh, we're outside, finally. Wait! Wait. Oh no. Oh, it's leaving. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. That's that's good to know. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Oh, it doesn't we'll sound good. Out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwoods, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. Thank you, buddy. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay. Anything else you have to say? My sister, Gerd. It's probably best if we split up. Is that up. all you have to say? Okay, buddy. Good luck. I wouldn't well, have made it without your help today. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. And I will see you later. Okay, so we are finally on our... On our what? Join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. Okay, thank you, buddy. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Okay, thanks for that information. So, we are finally in free. We're free here. And as you saw, we just got the mission to join the Stormcloak Rebellion. That means that uh, we can now join the Stormcloaks and get a whole bunch of missions. Which is indeed what we are going to be doing um, at some time in the future episodes. It's not going to happen this episode. We're not going to officially join this episode because that would be one very long episode. So we are going to head down the hill, follow Rayloff or Rayloof. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I believe it's Rayloff. If there's any mountain flowers on the way I can get, I will get them. I just got a little bit of an odd lag spike for a second there. I don't know why. 
probably because of these super duper graphic enhancing things here now these are the three guardian stones yep these are the guardian stones three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape I know go ahead see for yourself so we have three stones the thief stone the warrior stone and the mage stone now the stone that won was the warrior stone with seven votes thief had six and mage had five so warrior stone is the winner so we are going to officially activate that and we get 20 or combat skills 20 percent faster so this is the stone we're going to start out with we may change or get a different stone in the future and of course I will ask you which stone to activate in the future if I so choose to anything else to say buddy I almost can't believe it a real life dragon oh yeah no kidding okay so now I can finally talk to you damn right you don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom Okay, good to know. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. I have, they're bastards. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means. It's Ulfric. Good to know. Do you think Ulfric knows where the dragon came from? Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But really? wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Good to know, Besides, buddy. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. No kidding. And with that dragon. No kidding. You make a good case. Maybe I will go to Windhelm. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on. We better get moving. We'd better. Well, actually... You think that dragon is still flying around here somewhere? Why are we being executed? Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Really? Um, I don't really pay much attention to current events, buddy. Oh, right. They said you were captured crossing the border. Still, I'm surprised you haven't heard of Ulfric. He's our leader. The leader of the Stormcloaks. Good to know. Who are the Stormcloaks? Surely, even down in Cyrodiil, people have heard news of the war in Skyrim. I haven't. The Nords are tired of spending our blood fighting the Empire's wars. And paying for the Empire's decadence with our taxes. Ulfric mm. is our rightful High King. He's leading the fight to drive the Empire out of Skyrim, once and for all. Okay. Well, how did you end up as an Imperial... Pr or how did you end up as Imperial prisoners. I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing in the south of Eastmarch. Okay. The Imperials were waiting for us. As pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Oh, bummer. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. Didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I That's thought reasonable. they were taking us south to Cyrodiil. Parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen. And you know the rest. I do. Was the dragon on your side? What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Really? Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. No kidding. Well, I guess my last question for you is, how do I join the Stormcloaks? Ulfric's capital is Windhelm, northeast of here. You'll want to talk to Galmar Stonefist, Ulfric's right-hand man. He handles the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word if I get to Windhelm ahead of you. Okay, thanks, buddy. That's all I really have to ask you right now. We'd better keep moving. I don't want to run into any Imperials who know what happened at Helgen. No kidding. Let's let's keep moving then. Look at this beautiful waterfall. Wow. You can find the list of mods in the description below, you know, the mods I'm using. And uh Yeah, this is this is beautiful. And my inventory's full. 
That should cover it. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. Okay, good to know. Run into any Just the oh, there's something up here? Okay, we'll have to explore that next time. Or whenever you guys want me to. <laughs> oh, we got some wolves. Ooh, execution. Maybe that's what it's called. Execution. Okay, you left the wolf pelt. The wolf pelt. The wolf pelt here, buddy. Now, if I just took his wolf pelt off, I don't know why he still has flippin' fur all over him, but we'll we'll figure that out later. If you can't already tell, I like to collect flowers. Because you can sell them, you know. <laughs> Anything I can sell, I'm good with. Okay, so we're finally in Riverwood. So, the agenda don't is... Don't set anything on fire, alright? A dragon! I saw a dragon! I bet you did. What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe me. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm going to go around town and get all of the missions I can get. And then we are going to call it an episode and be sure to stick around until the very end of the episode and then we can then you, I'll give you guys a few options and you could vote so let's start going around town Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers but you seem alright thank you ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood oh really whatever you need buy you smear if it's simple and strong I can forge it Wow, good to know. Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Oh, that's good. Need any help? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I'll have to take you up on that offer a little later. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Okay. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Oh, fancy that. I will ask you what you have for sale when I'm interested. I. Buy, I guess, is what I means. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. It's okay. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Okay. Um, thank you. Did something uh, happen? Yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Really? I could help you with that. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Hmm. Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Um, okay. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Okay. Do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. We aren't actually going to follow this. I just wanted to get the mission. You guys will 
end up choosing we what I do. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. I'm not going to follow you, I'm afraid. Right, not right Those now. Those thieves must be mad. Oh, ho, what's with the weapon? Looks like it's about to get rough in here. Hmm. Careful with that fire. Hello, Girder. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Thank you. That's really reassuring. Do you have any supplies I could take? Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Okay. I'll just take everything. Because I can. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. Really? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Okay. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Make yourself at home. Could you tell me how I can get to Whiterun from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see Whiterun on its hill as you pass the falls. Really? Okay. Thank you for that. Could you tell me about the Jarl now? Jarl Balgruf? Yeah. I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled Whiterun hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. Really? He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. Yeah. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. Hmm. Is he loyal to the Empire? I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. Mm. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Hmm. Do you support the so Stormcloaks, then? Of course. Ulfric's cause is just. It's time for Skyrim to rid itself of the Empire. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. I understand. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raelof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. <laughs> You're not that old. Don't worry about it. Could you tell me who Elis Elisif is? Is that is that who you were talking about? I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. Mm. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. Okay. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turug was bought and paid for by the Empire. <laughs> but she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now. Really? With her husband Turig dead. Oh. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Hmm. So you're saying that Ulfric killed the High King? Some say murdered. But it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Hmm. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. Huh. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. That's true. So there isn't a High King now, right? No, not until the Moot meets to choose another. And it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Okay. Don't worry, though. Ulfric is our rightful High King. Okay. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. Oh, thankful. That's, that's good. I'm very thankful for that. Can you tell me more about uh, this town you live in? Isn't it called Riverwood? It's my mill. Oh. Some folks think it's my town, too, but it ain't. Oh. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. <laughs> so you have to pay for something you don't own? That sounds, that sounds not cool. Is there somewhere I can buy fresh supplies? Because these are starting to get a little old, and I also have some stuff I need to sell, too. And by supplies? I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Sure. Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. I talked to him earlier. That's good. Okay, well, thank you very much, Gerder. Aye. Aye to you, too. I told you my sister would help us out. So you saw a dragon, did you? I did. Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Ah, uh, bigger. Yeah, definitely. Def well, let's see. Hmm. I don't know what I should say to you. As big as the inn. Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand? Yeah. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Definitely. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for that. You have anything Make else? Not home. you. 
You have anything to say, buddy? I hope to see you in Windhelm. Could luck. could could you tell me how to get to White One from here? Just head north. Can't miss it. It's the capital of White Run Hole. Well, that makes sense. Jarl Balgruf still hasn't declared for one side or the other. So at least you won't run into any Imperials along the way. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you, buddy. I'm going to rest up here a while before heading to Windhelm. Be careful. Okay, good to know. Glad to help any way I can. Thanks. Okay. You have anything? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. You don't seem to have anything I'm really interested in. Heard any rumors? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Really? Until next time. That's ridiculous. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Got any leads for work? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay, I'll definitely have to check that. Do you know anywhere I could learn more about magic? Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's <laughs> what magic does to you. Yeah, I guess. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up too. <laughs> Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Okay. I'll remember that. Can I use your alchemy lab, by the way? As long as you clean up. Sure. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together. See what happens. Okay. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. Okay. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Awesome. Any other rumors? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay. Anything else? Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for your time, buddy. Until next time. Yep. How are you? You're that visitor been poking around. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only going to get worse now. Thanks. That's good to know. Whatever Need something? Eat. Want a drink? Got any ale or mead? Sure. There you go, buddy. Until next time. Yep. You're doing okay, buddy. How are you doing, Seven? Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Okay. Um, well, uh, I saw a dragon in Helgen. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. No, You'd she best isn't. You tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. He does. I'm going to right after this. So you and this other person both like the same girl? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. <laughs> elf, huh? I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Okay. Well, he does kind of sound persistent. Um, could you do something about it? You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. <laughs> okay. Um, do you know of anywhere where I can buy some fresh supplies? Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. I've met him. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Actually, Alvor is right, you know, this way. It's right over there. He was. He just got up. There he is. Where did you learn to play so well, buddy? At the Bard's College in Solitude. Oh. They train bards and skalds like myself. Oh, that's cool. If you go there, talk to Viarmo. He's the headmaster. I will. Well, thank you very much for your time, buddy. Until next time. Definitely. Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Okay, I will refrain from setting the place on fire, buddy. Okay, well, I believe that is it for episode one of my Skyrim Let's Play. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and please, please, please remember to give me your input and tell me what I should do for the next episode. 
right after this you will see the questions on the screen and that's when you can just give me which option you want you choose which of the options you want me to do next episode and whichever one is most popular will be the one that I do so I want to thank you all for watching this video I am the epic gamer guy thank you to Sean again for allowing me to put this on the SVM gaming channel and I am out in addition to your choice, if you guys have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, or challenges for me, be sure to leave them in your comment below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and check out all of my links which are displayed on the screen as well as in the description below. Thanks everybody.